Let's create some player passives in my game, Gun Game. If you don't know, Gun Game is a roguelite shooter where you fight through waves of enemies by crafting your guns and collecting unique game-changing passive abilities. First passive I'm going to be creating is making an explosion around the player when the magazine becomes empty. Let's go and move this on over to in progress. So the first thing that I need to do in my system is create a passive definition. So let's just go ahead and copy one of these. Let's go ahead and find where my passives are. Here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and go to this passive folder. Let's create a new scene explosion on magazine empty passive and we're going to create a node and we're going to put that name in there again. So in our ready method, we are going to connect to the gun Gun manager signal fired. We do care about the second thing, which is the player gun manager, the slot. We're gonna go ahead and grab that slot ammo. If ammo equals zero, then we're gonna go ahead and create the explosion. Let's go to our scene and add a resource preloader and we're gonna stick a circle explosion in here. Now, when our ammo is zero, what we need to do is we need to create the circle explosion. So we'll say var explosion is equal to resource preloader. And I'm just gonna go ahead and peek at my dash clear bullets passive. And why don't we just go ahead and copy this? All right, we're gonna create the explosion at the player center position. Now, here comes the tricky part. We need to give this explosion some kind of damage. Hey everyone, I have a newsletter now, so if you want to stay up to date on Gun Game and my other projects, go to firebelly.com, enter your email address in the box, and click subscribe, and now you'll never miss an update from me. All right, back to the video. So unfortunately, I don't have any way to get all of the enemies in the scene. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and add an area 2D, change its collision mask to enemy. And then I'll just go ahead and grab the collision shape 2D. I'm not going to attach a shape to it yet because I want to manually set that. And it's that simple. I am going to go to my hurt box component on area entered signal and check out what we're gonna do right here. Boom, to-dos. The rule about software engineering is that the to-dos always get resolved. So on area entered, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do something very easy. We're gonna handle this area collision. Oh, but what's the problem here? Our circle explosion doesn't have any damage associated with it. Set damage, float damage, right? Now we have to actually determine what the damage is. So what are we doing in here? We gotta set our damage, explosion.set damage. So how do we test this? Well, we go to our player, we go to the passive manager, we instance a scene, explosion on magazine empty passive, just like that. So now if I empty my entire magazine, it crashed, look at that. Boom, there's the explosion, look at that. I got it. Okay, so we can see that circle right there is very tiny. The reason that this is the case is because I'm scaling it. So when I go start at radius, it's changing the scale of everything, which is changing the scale of the collision area, which I don't want. With all those bugs fixed, it should now work as expected. And the final thing that we need to do is we need to go to our player passive loot table. And yes, I know this is messy. New explosion on magazine empty passive definition. Yes, that is very long. I'm gonna turn it up to 100. And as you can see, I can select that, I'll choose it. And now I should see quite clearly that it's now added. Let's go ahead and mark that as done. And that's it. That was a little dev vlog to show you how I add new content to the game. If you like this style of dev vlog, let me know in the comments so I can do more of them. I'm trying to get into some more interesting style dev vlogs showing my progress as it happens. Speaking of progress as it happens, here's a little elevator, but we won't talk about that yet. So if you enjoyed this style dev vlog, let me know and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching this video. Please consider liking and subscribing. Check out the links in the description to sign up for my email list at firebelly.com to learn how to build a 2D platformer in the Godot engine and to support my work by purchasing one of my games on Steam or itch.io. All those links are in the description.